Good luck. Good luck. Hello, darling. What's your name? Akshat. Akshat Singh. Akshat Singh. Yeah. And how old are you? 13. 13. Lovely. And where are you from? India, Mumbai. Oh, fantastic. So, who are you here with? With my mom and dad. Mom and dad. Yeah. And what's the big dream for you? Why Britain's Got Talent? Because now I have two motors in my life. To make everyone happy and show everyone that nothing is impossible in our life. <laughs> hey! He's like a little guru, this kid. <laughs> I love it. OK, then. The stage is yours. Thank you. Come on, Akshat! Yes! Underestimate three things in your life. Kids, kids, and only kids. There's a lot of kids are going to watch you. Absolutely love what you do because you're fun. You've got great personality. Uh, this is your moment. He did what he said he was going to do. Yes. He's made us happy. I wish I was 13 and watching you up there on the stage. You would have made me feel like I could achieve absolutely anything. Thank you. Well done. You threw some amazing shapes and then you did the box splits. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you. Let's vote. Yes, vote. OK, David, yes or no? Well, well. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> in fact, in fact, we're going to do this. Well done. Well done. Brilliant. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Yes. You're into the live shows. Yeah? Oh, it's so good. Well done, brilliant. Yes, that was fantastic. Fantastic. Take a bow. Take, Take a bow. bow. And I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Can we keep him? Yeah, Can we, we keep him? We press the golden buzzer, he's ours, that yeah? That means we keep him. He's ours. Yes, good lad. Aksha, 
Just tell me, what was, what was your motto? To be happy and to make others happy. Well, that's what he's done. You're a remarkable young man. Congratulations. Thank you. Say my favorite outfit today. Mine too. Yes. Thank you so much. Welcome. Let's start with your name, please. Sir. Um, my name is Avery Dixon. And where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I love Atlanta. How old are you? Um, I'm 21. 21. Okay. Now I'm guessing you're going to play the saxophone. Um, yes. I think I'll guess that you're right. <laughs> so, um, I'm really curious, uh, Avery, because I, f I find with the saxophone, it sort of goes in and out of fashion over the years. What do you feel about that? Yeah, going in and out of fashion depends on the player. Oh, good point. <laughs> Yay! Good answer. <laughs> and tell me what got you into this. Okay, so at the time I picked up the saxophone, I was getting bullied in elementary school. For what? Um... Well, my voice sounds a little bit different. You got a great voice. And I looked a little bit different, too. And my elementary school nickname was Hammerhead. Because what? I had these knots on my head because I'm premature. I was born at one pound, eight ounces. Whoa. Oh. And my vocal cords don't close all the way. So it made my voice sound really airy. Right. Students were so negative about my voice. One called me Frog, and she'd get the class in on the joke. It was relentless, and I actually, I was so in such a dark place, I actually wanted to commit suicide. Oh. Wow. And when you're in that mindset, the only thing you want to do is quit. So you decided to find something to take your mind away from all those horrible people, and it was the saxophone. Yes. That's when I started actually learning how to play. Good for you. Good for you. What would you do if you were to win? Well, first, I'd want to give my mom and my brother a space where we can actually live as loud as we want to be because I can't exactly practice where I live now. Somebody had called the cops on me before I flew out. Really? I was trying to practice. Because doing a show as big as this, I want to get everything perfect. For sure. So they had called the cops. The cops came banging on the door. They were like, you need to be quiet. My goal with the music with this is to be able to do the thing I love. And if I can do that, I'll have found my purpose for being on America's Got Talent. Well, look, Avery, here, you can be as loud as you like. Thank you. Yes! Good kid. Can I please get some water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I'm kind of drying up up here. I think it will be on. Oh, there you are. How quick is that? Thank you. There you go, He's nervous. Yes, sir. He's thirsty. Uh -huh. Oh, he's nervous. Are you okay? Yes, I'll be fine. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Please be good.
Kyle gets up to dance, that means you're really good because he never dances. I love you. I love you, buddy. I love you. I love who you are. You need to be here. You're supposed to be here. Thank you so and much. You will change the world. to us because we could feel how special it is for you and I think America is going to fall in love with you. Avery, uh, look, every time I hear a story about a kid being bullied at school, it breaks my heart. It breaks it even more now because I have a, you know, a son myself and I could not think of anything worse. Any one of those idiots who bullied you now, I hope, is watching this audition. Look, you know, I was, all of us were willing you to be good. I didn't know you were going to be great. It was like listening to a singer. You know, you had the ups and downs, and you got 4,000 people in here on their feet. So, it's in your blood. Oh, this is your destiny. If you were looking for validation, you just got it, because I'm going to give you your first yes. There's no need to vote! There's no need to vote! Avery Dixon! You touch the heart of every human being in this building right now. And I want to tell you, man, you've been bullied all your life, but you tell every bully that you have a big brother named Terry Crews, who is here, who's got your back. And all those bullies are going to have to watch you succeed, my friend. I got you. I got you. Oh. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Yeah, it's beautiful. Your talent did this. You did this. I was crying and I never cried. I know, not a dry eye in the house. I love you, man. I love you. Oh. Hey, nice how are you? To meet you. Nice Good. to meet you. What's Good. your name? My name is MB14. Nice to meet you. MB14. Yeah, MB14. Those are my initials and my favorite number. Ah, oh, okay. And where are you from? I'm from France. Oh, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Croissant baguette. <laughs> um, oh, we like you. We like you a lot. Come on, let's get you on stage. They're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just care about you. I swear I live. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello, too. <laughs> Tell me all about you. I want to know everything. My name is uh, MB14. And I'm French. Oh, c'est très bien. And, and what made you come to this show in, in Britain, Britain Got Talent? The train, Eurostar. <laughs> it's been a long time that I've, I've been watching BGT, you know? And I remember when I started watching that show, I felt a lot of inspiration. 
And I said to myself, maybe one day I'll be on that stage. So. Well, here you are. I thought maybe I'll be on the stage one day, but not in the audience. So, uh, what is your act based on? Uh, basically, I'm, all you're about to hear is made uh, with my voice. So, I hope you like it. <laughs> Show us what you've got. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen.
Yeah, we like him. He's great. He's amazing. Literally, I was hypnotized by your music. That is the power of music, that it gets you and it makes you want to dance, it makes you happy. You did a fantastic job, Alicia. You are absolutely phenomenal. We've never had anyone like you on the show. I agree. The fact that you've got nice hair, no one cares about that today. I can. You are phenomenal, my friend. It just felt cool, it felt now. We've seen nothing like it. It was fantastic. I don't know where you've been. I have been in France. Seriously, we doesn't matter where you're from, we should have heard of you by now because this was phenomenal. I mean, seriously, phenomenal. Yes! Yes! Look at them. They were like greyhounds out <laughs> yeah. of a trap. We didn't even have a chance to say anything. Anyway, it's so well deserved. Thank you so much. It's one of the great, great, great auditions you will never, ever forget. That's amazing. No, 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 mercy to you. Uh, this is amazing, absolutely amazing. First, I didn't think that they would like it so much. And second, what a surprise you did to me today. Uh, <laughs> I really didn't expect the golden buzzer. It's wow, 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 wow. Um, Listen, well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very, You're very welcome. Thank you for You're your welcome. congratulations. That was amazing. Happy to be part of this adventure with you guys. Uh, That's thank an you. honor. Thank, thank you, you so for much. coming. Thank See you in the last semi finals. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us who you are, please. We are the Detroit Youth Choir. Detroit! <laughs> okay. Yes. And you are obviously the choir director. Yes, I'm the choir director, Anthony White. Anthony White, nice to meet you. Tell me how this uh, choir came up. What was the idea behind it, please? Well, I've been the director of this wonderful youth group for um, a little over 21 years. Oh, wow. And uh, we're here to let the world know that we have some wonderful young people in the city of Detroit. And yes. They all have great grades, and they're all talented. Wow. Is he strict? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're all friends. Yeah. Okay, so what would you love or dream of happening if you do well on this show? A million dollars, you know, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I, I actually love choirs, so... Um, and we never had a choir win this show. Well, this can be the first. Okay, well, good luck. Let's do it.
was your moment. Thank you. The dancing and the singing and the rapping, it's so much more than you expect from any other choir. I love you, I love you all. Uh, you know, it starts with the people. Yes. And the people, you guys came together and created something that was traditional, like a choir, and you took it and went so fresh. It was so fun, the choreography. I was up on my feet. Ah! I love it! Gabrielle. Uh, first, let me ask the little, the little one who's yeah, hiding in the back, yet. can she step forward? Oh, yeah. Is see her. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. You feel like you did a great job? Thank you. Yes. I, yes. Let me thank you, because what we all just witnessed here tonight was nothing short of absolute brilliance. Wow. You're cool. This was not expected. If you can keep doing this where every performance is the last thing you would expect a choir to do, you could win this. Yeah. Yes. Let's hope. Let's start with Howie, yes or no? Oh, you know what? Wait, wait, I wanna... wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, Howie, but I have to tell you, Every young man and woman on the stage represents me and where I came from. I remember sitting out my window in Flint, Michigan, dreaming and wanting to make it and wanting to be here. And they're here. And they did so well that I have to do this. is one person to believe in a young man or woman for them to reach their dreams and you are that man sir Jasmine Elcock. Jasmine, how old are you? Um, I've turned 14 two days ago. Oh, happy Aww. birthday! Thank you. Who have you brought with you? Um, I've got my dad with me here today and my mum. Brilliant. Well, this is two minutes that could really change everything, so good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, I don't need you. 
Russell. Oh, she deserved that. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know what? I was at one point losing the will to live, thinking maybe all the talent has gone. And now you come back, little thing, with such a great voice, so charming. And let me tell you, I think this country is going to totally fall in love with you. For so many reasons, that audition moved me so much. I've never been this much of a mess on the show. Literally. Oh, my goodness. I hope all your dreams come true. You deserve it. You really do. Oh, oh look at Alicia. <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> Come here. Oh my gosh, come here. Thank well done, you. Well done. Come here, Dad. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Well, really we will see you in the studio for the live semi finals. You're straight through to the semis. Hello, sir. Hi. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Mark and I'm from North London. Brilliant. And Mark, how old are you? I'm 46. Who have you brought with you today? My wife. She is somewhere in the audience. Brilliant. There she is. My daughter is here, but she's only two years old, so she's um, watching Peppa Pig somewhere or something, yeah. probably. Are you a magician? I am indeed, yeah. And is that how you make a living? I've done a lot of jobs, not necessarily a good living. There's, okay. there's the good and the bad. Well, the best of luck. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Can I join you? Yeah. Okay. I've always wondered, what would it be like to experience real magic? Well, two years ago, I did and it changed me and my life forever. Amanda, yes. I'm going to ask you to give this Rubik's Cube a mix for me. Can you keep on mixing until I come back to you? Yes. Thank you. David, mm. inside this box are 25 different coloured crayons. I'm going to give these a mix. And David, you're going to choose one, but without looking. Just grab one at random. Hold it in your hand, David, but don't look at it. Keep it hidden. Alicia, yes. these cards belong to my daughter. It's important to see that all the cards are different. Yep. I'm going to ask you to just touch the back of anyone. It doesn't matter which, but what is very, very important is that I don't do any sleight of hand. Okay. So I'll spread the cards like this, point to anyone that you like. Wow, right down the end. Can you hide out your hand for me? I'm going to place that card on the palm of your hand, genuinely the card that you touch. Is that okay? Yes. Lovely. Amanda. Yes. You have mixed that cube yes. into a completely unique pattern. Yes. Fair to say? Uh-huh. We'll get back to that in a moment. Simon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to hold this pen in your right hand right here. Perfect. You lower your wrist down, get comfortable. Yeah. Lovely. This book belongs to my wife. There are over 600 pages, around about 200,000 words in the book. Alicia, can I ask you to close your eyes for a moment? And just say the word stop. Stop. Simon, I'm going to hold the book above your pen. Mm -hmm. Amanda, can you say the word stop as I do this? Stop. Simon, can you bring the pen up to the page without looking and draw a small circle the size of a five pence piece? You don't have to be precise. I'm going to place the book down in front of you here, Simon. I'll take the pen. Can you do me a favour? Lift up the book. Don't show me. But have a look at where you've drawn that circle. Can you confirm that there is a word or words that you can see within that circle? Yeah. Yeah? There is? <laughs> Wonderful. It's a good start. David, can you tell us what colour crayon do you have? Red. The red crayon. Alicia, for the first time, what card did you choose? Ah, oh, Puppet Penguin. The Puppet Penguin. Amanda, very carefully, yeah. can you just lift off the box so we can see the pattern that you've created on the very top of that Rubik's Cube. Now, if I told you that I knew this exact outcome yesterday, a week ago, or a month ago, you'd say, well, that would have to be magic. Some I would. people would. I would. But it's not real magic. It's interesting, intriguing, maybe clever. Some might even say amazing, but it's not real magic. See, for me, real magic changed two years ago. 
this to me is real magic. And Simon, that leaves just you. For the very first time, Simon, what is the word that you circled? Hat. Hat. H-A-T. Yeah. Simon, this is for you. Isabella, you beautiful little girl. If Daddy was going to do Britain's Got Talent in two years from now, what random word do you think Simon would think of? Hat. Hat. H A T. You could be right. Oh my God, that's amazing! Wow! Absolutely gobsmacks. Thank I you. mean, first of all, thank God your little girl's okay. Uh, that's the most important. She's okay now, yeah? yeah absolutely. Good. Well, I'm thrilled to hear that. Um, don't know what you've gone through, Mark, through your career trying to get the break you've been looking for. I have a feeling this act is going to change your life. It was unbelievable. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I really do. I've been doing this show now, what, seven years? And I genuinely never, ever thought a magic act would move me like that. I know. That's just crazy. I don't care how you did it. It was magnificent. You did it because it's magic. You have just taken magic to a whole new level, oh, my thank friend. You. Thank you. Loved it. It's great, Brilliant. It was a really beautifully put together performance. Thank you, David. I loved your presentation. So calm, so in control all the time. I like that you didn't bother with lots of silly jokes on the side. Obviously, it's incredibly moving seeing the story with your family as well. And it's a lovely way of including them in the act. Thank you. It's, it's astonishing. Gets you in tears. Yeah. It's a long really story. Yeah. Utterly extraordinary. You know, we're all parents. And that is the greatest magic in the oh, world. And she's my magic. Absolutely. Absolutely. And on, we're going to take on. a vote. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Come on. You don't have to vote. That doesn't even vote. Really? Let me ask you, that was remarkable. Remarkable. Well done. Well done, man. 
Brilliant. I so deserved it. So deserved it. Oh my god. See you in the live show. That was so brilliant. So brilliant. Thank you. Got me right there. Well done. Lights will go. This is the greatest show on earth, starring Alexa and her incredible dancing dogs. Question: What are you going to sing? No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, We're yeah. a dance crew. What? We're a dance act. Is this serious? No, yeah, yeah, yes, very serious. serious. Honestly? Yes. yes. Okay. And you think you can win this? Yeah. Like to think so. Show us what you can do. Good Thank luck. You very much. Come on, boy band. Let's lift this roof. <laughs>
Zurkaro. Okay, what do you do? We do acrobatic and gymnastics. Right. We are not professionals. We take people for whatever, if they have skills or not, they are able to enjoy us. Okay, ah. and why did you decide to come on America's Got Talent with this act? Because this is the biggest stage in the world where I can show our skills and our talent. That's the reason. Okay. Okay, well listen, best of luck guys. Thank you.
this boat. Howie. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I am collecting my breath and I just, I need some oxygen right now. I'm like freaking out right now. This is so crazy that you know what I have to do. Oh this is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be. This is me. right now that this is the last audition. Aww. I think I'm falling in love with all of you. I love it. Here we go. You want me to help you out there? When I get on that stage, I want to prove that you're never too old to follow your dreams. Wow. Hello. Hello. And what's your name? My name is Dorothy Williams. I'm from Hilo, Hawaii. Oh, wow. Uh, Dorothy, how old are you, darling? I'm 90 years old. No wow. Way. wow. You look amazing. Were you married? Yes, I'm a widow. OK. And how many years were you married for, Dorothy? 11 years. 11 years. Oh, OK. Not long. Do you have children? No, I didn't have any. I married late in life. Okay. So what are you going to do for us today? Well, I'm going to dance. Are you? <laughs> okay, good luck. All right. Wow. Hmm. Just let me entertain you and we'll have a real good time, yes, sir. Oh, we'll have a real good time. Got a Mel. Dorothy, you know what? I have to say, you're 90 years old. Good for you. Good for you. Heidi. I absolutely love you. That was really, really special. You put me in a really good mood. Simon, what about you? I find you fascinating, Dorothy. <laughs> I do. And I do think there's an audience for you. I think we need to work a little bit more on the tassels. Yeah, they were working fine. They got tired from practicing. No, I get that. I get that. But you know what? I kind of wanted a longer song to see where this is going to end up. 
<laughs> OK, Howie, you look like you enjoy it now. I love you. I love the message. You are a great example. You are inspiring. I think that you should become a star. And I'm so glad that you're here. Miss Dorothy! Oh, there's Nick. So what's Nick gonna do? Audience! We, we had a conversation backstage, and Miss Dorothy told me that all she dreamed about all her life was being a star in a moment like this. I told her, a star is born tonight. Now, it's kind of unfortunate, because on this show, each judge gets an opportunity once a season to hit the golden buzzer, and the act gets to go straight through to the live shows. But all of our judges already hit their golden buzzer. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to break the rules. Might be one of my favorite ever auditions. How's it feel? You're going straight through to the live show. One more big performance. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa! I hope I live that long. That was fun. how cool was that? The gold oh, buzzer. Oh, that's amazing. That would have made her complete life. She's 90. <laughs> Welcome. Very nice to meet you. So who do we have here? We are World Taekwondo Demonstration Team. Wow, OK. And where are you all from? We are from around the world. Yeah. <laughs> but some of them from South Korea, some of them from America. Cool. So tell me, why America's Got Talent? Actually, they, uh, we are invited to perform at the Olympics. Really? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot do it due to COVID. So you could say you chose us over the Olympics? Yes. That's correct. <laughs> I love that. Do you believe that you could win the competition? Yes. OK. <laughs> That's very confident. I like that. No more questions. Two minutes can change your life. Thank Good luck. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, they look serious. My daughter has a black belt in Taekwondo. She really does. In this, yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Very serious. Exciting. Yeah.
Whoa, look at, look at how they can spam. You know, they're not moving when they're doing that. to achieve this, it was perfection to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think what you did was one of the most extraordinary things I've seen in all the years I've been on America's Got Talent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we have to go vote. All right. No, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. No. First of all, uh -uh. I got to tell you, I have never, ever seen anything like this in my life. World Taekwondo, this is not about fighting. It's about courage. It's about confidence and respect. And I respect what you guys did out here today like no one else. And you know, you were not able to make it to the Olympics and get a gold medal. But I am going to give you something golden right now! Yes! 
I buy tickets and go to see that anywhere. For sure. Is he here by accident? Hello. 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 What's your name? My name is Matt Edwards. Hi, Matt. Hello. Where are you from? Where are you from, Matt? I'm, I'm from uh, Suffolk. Suffolk? Great. Yes. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. Do you have a day job? Um, I... So <laughs> do I look young? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm a magician, is what I do for my day job. Lovely. So tell us something about you that makes you different from other magicians that we may have seen on the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I think the, what makes me different from other magicians is um, the type of magic I perform isn't necessarily sleight of hand. It's a little bit uh, crazy, a little bit variety, I would say. Mm. Hmm. It's like the sound of that. All right, well, we look forward to your act. Good luck. So I do it now? Yeah. It's lovely to meet you all. Uh, my name is Matt. What's your name? Brilliant, that's enough. Now, I've only got like a minute to show you what I can do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to perform a trick. Uh, but before I do my trick, I'm going to propose a toast. I want to say cheers to everybody. Um, so, when I say cheers, everybody in the audience shouts... Cheers! cheers. Perfect, amazing. Now, uh, because uh, I've only got a minute, I'm going to give this a big build-up in the hope that everyone claps really loudly and then all the ladies take off their bras and throw them in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, you, Alicia. <laughs> Worth a try. So, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Señores y señores, bienvenidos a la Britain's Got Talent de Cenote y Papala Tequila. <laughs> Rachel and the Magi. Papa, 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 I do. Yeah. What's this? Might well. Oh. I forgot the soul. Gotta have soul. Oh. Tequila. I forgot the soul. I'm fine, I'm fine. to present a magic trick. It's good. I love when people push jokes as far as they possibly can go until they almost break. It was very funny, very entertaining. It was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Amanda? Yeah, I mean, I really loved it. 
it was sort of silly how Tommy Cooper used to do it. You know, you're so distracted by you clowning and messing about that we're not paying attention to what you're actually doing, so therefore it's even more magical. I really love you. I think you're charming, I think you're funny, and you're kind of old school with a twist, which is absolutely perfect for Britain's Got Talent. Well done. Simon? I've got to be honest with you, Matthew. You know, when you started with that voice, I thought this is going to be really annoying. But actually, you are brilliant. I mean, really, really funny. And how old are you, 34, did you say? 34. Okay, I'm surprised you haven't had a break yet, Matthew, because you're really likeable and nuts. Um, you've just got something about you, it's your energy. This is what we look for on these shows, people who've got star quality. I've just got a feeling about you. Good, you know. It's good. Really good. I agree, Matthew. Love your passion and enthusiasm. Right, we're going to take a vote. David. Oh, they've got the vote. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, we were laughing so much, I thought I was going to pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. We were, well uh, deserved. Honestly, we loved the act, and then Simon, you said it. He's 34 years old, and for some reason, he hasn't been given the break up yeah. until now. And so we just wanted to be, be there and do it. Honestly, well done. Well done. Funny. Really good. Really good. Yes. Really good. Love it. Yes! Oh. That's a good one. Yeah! You picked a good one! I like him. I've got to tell you, Matt. They were absolutely on the money. This is what it's all about. Dreams come true. Good for you. You deserve it, man. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Oh my Honestly, God. that oh was just. Oh I haven't seen wow. energy in a routine like that for years. Please tell us you've got those moments in your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the song, I've got so much that I'm ready to show the world. Brilliant. Good. Thank you so much for the opportunity You're to welcome, show man. the world. Well, so you're live straight through the semi finals. Uh, <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Can I tell one word about the story which you will see? Yes, please. This is the story about a child who grew up, became famous artist, and forgot his parents. I wish nobody forget his their parents, please. Oh, wow. Okay? It's a sad story. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, wow. Universe. All the planets.
I was very scared, you know. I was praying there, and I was like trying my hands not to shake there. Oh! And they were shaking. Oh! But you did. <laughs> How do you think you got here today? Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Keiji Wasaki. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Oh, I love Japan. Ah, thank you so much. Watashi wa release today. Oh, yes, exactly. Yes. Oh, this is. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, <laughs> how old are you? No, yeah, I'm 49 years old. And what you're doing for us today is that your day job? No, it's uh, my bicycle and. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, pardon, pardon. I'm a little bit nervous, so uh, excuse no me. No worries, my darling. Uh, so why Britain's Got Talent? It's because a big stage, the biggest state in the world. Then it's like a one of my dream to come here. Oh, fantastic! Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to have you. Yeah. And what would you do with the money if you were to win? I want to across the uh, Atlantic Ocean by rowing a boat. So yes. then I want to buy the boat. Oh, fabulous! <laughs> you didn't expect that answer, did you? No one's ever said that. I yeah, love yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. whenever you're ready. Yes. Go for it. Okay. Now I start. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. <laughs> I'm laughing already. Simon, hello. hello. How are you? Because a hundred times I saw you in YouTube. <laughs> hey, Simon, do you know this one? Chopstick. Yes, chopstick. Have one, two, three. Uh, sorry. One more time. Uh, sorry. Uh, just uh, this. What did you just do? It's not the magic. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start the magic. He's good. He's funny. Well, then maybe ask the Deck and the Aunt. Yes! Deck and the Aunt. Deck and the Aunt. Deck and the Aunt. That's got a ring it's, to it. It's, it's it. Add to Deck. No, Deck and Aunt. Add to Deck it is. Yeah, add to Deck. Yeah, that's right. Please check this card. It's normal. 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 And please shuffle it. Of course. Yes. Very well. Deck, shuffle the deck. Deck, shuffle. Yes, by Decanat. Yes. <laughs> take one card as you like. Me? me? Yeah, no, 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 uh, no, 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 uh, between this uh, or this? No, that's not. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so this one? No. no. This, this. no. <laughs> no, no.
Antonio, what? I'm still just here. Is it that easy, you can? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How do you put the thought in and then on it? No, I put... Just move, just move. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop! I put here 20 pounds. Hup. Hup. See, it's like a going to move. And then you're this nature. Hup. Now, hup. What? Excuse me. Energy finish. But no problem. Genki dama. Hup. My last trick is for ladies. For ladies? ladies. Yes. Alicia, do you come over here? I come over here. <laughs> well, you didn't do an awful lot, then, did you? He didn't ask us to, did he? Alicia, what? OK, Arigato, please check this is what? What is this? It's a ring. It's a ring, yes. <laughs> Give me a finger like this. I put the ring here, OK? Just hold on, don't move, because it's a very difficult magic. This ring, your finger. Hat one, two, three. Also passing. Whoa! I said, wait, wait, hold on. Hat one. very charming and your magic was absolutely excellent yes. i mean it's faultless so much um, it's too much you're the funniest person we've seen and the most magical person we've seen yeah. all combined in one and i love you yes thank you so much you are an absolute natural people are going to like you so much thank you so my son much. is going to love you I mean, love you. <laughs> you are one of the best we've seen so far. Isn't that lovely? Yes, thank you so much. The yeah. audience love you. I love you too. You're a superstar. So I'm going to kick this off with a yes. Yes, thank you so much. It's a yes from me. Yeah. It's a yes from me.
like a dream. Thank you so much. I, I can't explain that my emotion. I never expected that Gordon Brothers. It's too much. Thank you so much. from and what is your name? We are from Ukraine and we are Light Balance Dance Group. Light Balance Dance Group. I love this act so much. I love the creativity, also the music that you chose. I mean, we've seen dances in the dark before, but not this good. What did you think, Holly? I actually loved it. And what people uh, tend to miss is the simulation of the lights. That's a choreography too. We love what you did and you should be very proud of yourself and very proud of your troupe. Thank you so much. Thank you. What did you think now? I loved the whole thing from the light, the subtlety in your dance movements were just perfection. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Simon, what did you think? I thought the act was incredible. It was imaginative, it was different. I've never seen anything like that before. I thought it was incredible. Congratulations. Let's vote. Stop right now. I'm amazed by you guys. You guys, wasn't this not incredible? Like crazy good?
know what to explain my feelings. It's, yeah, it's like dreams come true. Yes. Thank you so much, Zara. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. You're so welcome. Woo Do that for so long. Amazing, incredible film. All the hard work pays off. And look where you are. Thank you. Thank oh you my so gosh. Oh, the day is full of surprises. That was mind blowing. Tell me about this, what you're about to do. So, what I did for you guys today is very simple. I mix two of the most dangerous motorcycle stunts in one act. Of course. We're going to have the cage riders. And we're gonna have another two FMX rider jumping over the globe at the same time. So, wow. This show is giving me a lot of anxiety, I've got to be honest with you. You gotta like the adrenaline for this act for sure. Okay, so what does this mean to you? I grew up watching my father and grandfather perform these stunts for so many years and they were my heroes. So it's more like my heart and my mind is into this because of my grandfather that passed a few years ago and I'm sure he's watching me right now. I want to make him proud and that would be the ultimate prize for me. Bless you. See what they're doing right now though. He can't even crawl up the landing, it's so slippery. Because of the humidity. No, no, no. The humidity I, is, is, I, I, I could it, feel it. It changes everything. So, if they do any tricks where the bikes are sideways, if they land, it just washes right out from under them. I mean, so they got they got the, the towels up there, but it, it gets wet so quick, you know? Yeah. He's like, dude, it's slippery. No, 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 we're gonna go to this area yeah. right and go. It's like, yeah, I know. Well, it's time to go. It's time to go, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. Yes! I mean, seriously. Woo. I mean, everything about it. You know, the danger level just got higher and higher and higher. I actually think that was pretty much perfection. Wow, thank you so much. What an honor. Travis, it started off fast. It was like absolutely pinned. The entertainment factor was awesome. And then a kiss of death indie backflip, huge. Pulling at the last second. Woo! It was absolutely awesome. I did not think I'd be impressed by a motorcycle stunt show, but you guys did it. Wow, just wow. Thank you so much for that feedback. Anyway. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're not going to need to vote. 
There will be no need to vote right now. Do you know what? Alfredo, every time I see you, it is the definition of what this show is. I'm giving you the golden buzzer, my man. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Todd you. And how old are you? 40. And are you married? Is that a proposal? No, not married. Not to my knowledge. And what is it that you're doing for us today? Uh, stand up, impressions. Brilliant. We'll wish you all the best. Yes. Thank you. I love TV, man. Anybody here remember Blind Date? Ladies and gentlemen. It's Blind Date! And here's your host, Miss Cilla Black! Oh! <laughs> oh! We've got three bunny lads behind that screen. <laughs> I didn't expect me to Cilla. I really didn't. And here's the gorgeous girl who's gone and meet him. Her name's Amanda. Come in, Amanda. <laughs> you know, I'd love to have seen. The screen goes back. She doesn't like the look of the guy. She makes it clear. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty women, why do you always come to the club with a friend that doesn't look as cute as you? Yes, and guys, just as you're about to get the cute one's number, the friend comes along and messes it up completely. <laughs> yes, let me set the scene, Alicia. Ah, oh, you're kind of cute. Oh, you're cute too. Here comes the friend. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> then they turn to their friend. Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? <laughs> turn back to you. Are you a nutter? You look like a nutter. You act like a nutter. Can you prove you're not a nutter? Exactly what I thought. You are a nutter. <laughs> if I'm not getting a man, no one's getting a man. <laughs> Total Recall, Predator, Commando, action films. I love them. Favourite action hero? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Because Schwarzenegger is always asking questions. <laughs> What the hell is going on? <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> and he's always trying to explain his drama to other people that don't care. <laughs> Some men just tried to kill me. <laughs> I think they were spies or something. Harry from work, he was the boss. Blood on my shirt, blood on my hands, blood on my knife. He tried to take my life. Get down! Thank you. <laughs> He's funny. I like it. I really like it. I do like it. It's funny. We're there, Sam. We've got to do what we've got to do. Together?
Yeah, well done. Yeah. There's no one out there that I can think of right now who's like that. Just see you in the studio. Well done. Uh, well Go and celebrate. Well Thanks, love. The voices of our city choir. Yeah. It's a choir I started about four years ago for people experiencing homelessness in San Diego. Oh, oh wow. Yes. What wow. an amazing idea. There were so many people living unsheltered in my neighborhood. I met musicians and singers, and I was like, wow, we could put together a group and sing together. Yeah. And there's people who are in the choir. They can't afford medicine. They can't afford rent. So we help them out. Right. And through the money that we've raised, we've helped people get off the street. Wow. Wow. What's the song you're going to do? The choir actually wrote the song. Oh, wow. We have a songwriting workshop. Okay, good. Let's see what happens in the next two or three minutes. Awesome. Listen to the sound. Of the sidewalk. Searching, restless arms reaching. Wow. Our battle's going down oh. with chaos all around. And the mother reassures herself everything will be all right as she steps in rhythm to the sounds of the sidewalk. i tell you how I felt watching this choir is that there's no question of doubt that there is strength in numbers. Yeah. And my favorite moment was the talking. Yes. Yeah. I've never heard that, that, that happen in a choir before. Thank you. The tone of your voice, it's just sensational. Thank you. What we have here is a collection of really talented people and we need that raw talent to begin with. And that's what we've got. Um, we live in a world at the moment, there is so much talking, but you've actually made something happen. Simon, 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 I gotta stop you right now. Okay. Well, you said there's nothing but talk going on. Yep. But it's time to make something happen right now. Ah, yeah. For everybody on this stage. What they did today has moved me to this point right now.
I believe in you. Congratulations. It's an honor to help you today. What you're doing right now is beyond. It's totally beyond. You deserve it. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is John Courtney. Where are you from? I live in a village called Mosley, which is near Manchester. Oh, OK. Have you brought anyone with you? I've got my wife and two boys, I hear. Brilliant. How long have you played the piano? Uh, since I was about five, I guess. And is that how you make a living? Yeah. So is this the biggest venue you've performed in? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the Palladium is, is like the holy grail to me. I used to watch the shows with my dad, and this is the home of variety. Ah. Oh. Overwhelming. It's amazing. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> Good luck, John. Thank you. This is bonkers. There was a man who had a dream That Simon Cowell and his team Would watch him play piano and try to slay them On the stage of the Palladium And in the time that one song took David would write another book <laughs> Alicia would smile at him Amanda would be kind to him Simon's teeth would be blinding him <laughs> If he was smiling But nothing now could ever spoil The dream he dreamed like Susan Boyle I like this already! Yes, John! Let's see if we're, we haven't been in it yet. The fact is he never thought he'd ever get to be In front of millions of people doing his thing on TV 30 years of playing in piano bars and pubs Dodging glasses when they're thrown Being thrown out of clubs When your children ask daddy When you're coming home This game is not the same when you're just daddy on the phone So he sits at the piano And he tries to get prepared Thinking he'll write it in third person So he doesn't feel as scared To sing about himself to a bunch of strangers in the dark But then Britain has got talent And he wants to make his mark Paul Potts won the first year and said it was insane The second year George Sampson won singing in the rain Lost Voice Guy season 12 And last year Colin Thackeray So why not me? <laughs> yeah, why yeah, not you? Why not you? That's what he said His youngest boy One night in bed Dad, why not you? Go and show them what you do and even though you'll be a wreck, at least you'll meet Anton Dare. Ah, we made it We're so in it. We're in it. Yeah. And he thinks on stage, at this stage in his life, with an expensive mortgage and a pensive wife. <laughs> his youngest son, Alfie, says, what's it all about? If he had any hair left, he'd pull it out. His teenage son said, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> His dad taught him to play piano But he didn't live to see His son at the famous theatre Performing on TV If he didn't see it through Imagine how sad The look on the faces of both his lads Who always tell him You're the greatest showman dad They'll see me on BGT No more third person, just daddy This is me
you've made me fall to bits, I don't know why. I just saw a man who kind of made all his dreams come true. It really was, yeah. <laughs> David. It was just so winning, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, my goodness me, it made the whole audience, and I'm sure everyone watching at home, just fall in love with it. I love him. It had everything, and at the end, he had us moved to tears. This show is perfect for you, and now I want to see you go as far as you can in this competition. Wow. Well done. Uh, John, it was just a wonderful audition. You're somebody who's worked for years, needs a break. You'll get a huge reaction of this, I promise you. And we all want you to do well. So I would love to be the, the first to say yes. yes. You deserve it. You deserve it. Here's the other son. Here he comes. Hello again. We met a little bit earlier on. Tell us your name and why you're here today, please. My name is Gioma Narcis Williams. Use the mic. <laughs> what? Yeah, we'll start again. Yeah, so tell us your, your name, why you're here, please. My name is Shyam Narsin Williams, and I am eight years old. Eight years old. <laughs> and where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Georgia. Oh, OK. Now, do you think you can win? Yeah, just say yes. Definitely. Definitely. Ah! OK, I'm guessing you're going to play the drum. Yes. Shall we start the act? Yes. Yes, thank you.
was fun. It was energetic. You guys are adorable. I think everybody in this room loved you, and I love you. Too. I love that you do something with your extra time outside of school instead of being on your computers you're putting this amazing act together I love that I haven't seen anything like this before on this stage you guys might have a very big chance to win this competition because I think everyone is gonna go crazy what? I didn't like it. What? No? <laughs> what? I absolutely loved it. Let's go crazy, 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 crazy. I mean, seriously, what's not to like? There's so much fun and they're so talented. This is one of my favorite, favorite auditions this year. I really mean that. Okay, I think I know where this is going, and now we have to vote. No, 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 no! There is no need to vote! <laughs> no need! Oh! Chioma, you told me backstage that you dreamed about being on AGT and getting a golden buzzer. Now, Chioma and the Atlanta Drum Academy, I am honored to make that dream come true.
my God. Can I, can I be honest with you? I'm actually speechless. Yes! I mean, seriously, speechless. This was just magic. Absolute creative magic. It's one of the best things. I'm actually quite emotional. You know, that radiated more than just music and song and dance. It was emotion and passion. It was exciting. It was thrilling. And exactly what AGT All-Star needs to be. This is the, the competition of champions. And that was a championship performance. It really was. Well, you know, some choirs can be a little on the snoozy side, but not you guys. <laughs> not you guys. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you just mashed that song up, like, and you just spat out a whole new thing which was incredible. I tell you what, we all need a Mr. White in our lives. Yes! Yo, 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 stop! Stop! We don't need to go to the super fan vote on this one. <laughs> Mr. White! You have changed the lives of thousands of young men and women all over for what you have done for the city of Detroit. For what you have done in this world, one golden buzzer is not enough! Simon Cowell. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have gotten something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor. Right? No, maybe you do shave. You're just so masculine. The minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. At 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying, that's all. <laughs> yes. In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, Y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17 year old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that was good. 
It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No. I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Magic Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> Howie! I want to give a standing ovation to... Let me finish. To Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. He this did. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss on live TV. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh, my God. You did it. Howie. They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh! Oh! Yes. Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a victim. Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Molly Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always gotta tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. 
so annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive, blissed, right? Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's no. We need more. We need more. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Ho, ho, ho. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon, though. You know, I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Tony. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Now, Holly, last night you were
were brutally honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, Right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. <laughs> you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And also, I'm, I'm translating. She said, grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, girl, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes local, so it, there's nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes the statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. 
If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> There was, you know, we would deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care why you say, Howie, no. they're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different and it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent! Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, I'm he's not. a real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at is that you weren't on Canada's Got Talent. You would have won Canada's Got Talent. You guys are so fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well... <laughs> <laughs> It looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom would just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. The password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. Freak. Magic. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> Get him. They're Get cheating him him because, because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much, everyone.